Welcome to the Online Prosperity Show. You're going to see some amazing things. My name is Catherine. I'm a transformologist and I'm going to be going through a few things that are going to absolutely change your life. So be ready for an amazing session. Thank you so much. Bye. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, I've brought you the transformologist. Did I say that right, Catherine? You sure did. Absolutely. All right. So if you're watching this show, you would understand we are always bringing in experts in their fields um, and people that are, you know, well-versed with what they can do to help you be, do, and have a life that's worth living. Now, Catherine is out there helping women just like you to get over stress or whatever you might be going through um, that might be hindering your success in life, your success in business or your success as a person in general. But Catherine, tell me a little bit about what you do and how you're helping people out there. So what I do is I help women to um, release those blocks and um, some of their beliefs as well. So it's mainly, I, I've discovered that through this journey that um, I really help women that have had childhood trauma. The more clients I have, I seem to be working with those that have had a similar experience to me. Yes, because I had childhood trauma, uh, domestic violence in my life, and a very aggressive father that fight with my mum constantly. And so a lot of my beliefs came from that aggressive and then I came um, wanting to help people. So I became a teacher. So I'm also working um, as an intervention teacher in the day and in the night I help women release blocks. However, from understanding children, that has helped me to understand our true nature. And children are so joyful and they're so happy and they don't worry about stuff because they haven't been alive for as long and haven't got all those filters and all those problems that we get as we get older. So I've come to see that that has helped me more than anything to see what our true self is. Yeah. Understandable. A lot of people are going through uh, quite a lot. And thank you so much for sharing that um, you know, intimate side of you there. A lot of people would be going through the same, but they don't realize that there is help out there or there's mm. people like you that, um, you know, viscerally, um, you know, helping others and, you know, having them, you know, to live healthier lives. Now, tell us a little bit about the people that come to you or the people that you actually help. Um, are they aware that there is such help out there or do they just continuously live in these negative environments without realizing um, that they can reach out? Because if they knew, um, yeah. they could reach out, wouldn't they? Absolutely. And I think the word is getting out there that this type of thing exists because there are so many things. Uh, the other day I watched that movie, Heal. I don't know if you've heard of it. And yeah. it was amazing because, you know, the power of the mind-body connection. And I've always been interested in that. And I, since I've had Creatrix myself, obviously, you know, you have to be cleaned out yourself to be able to work with others. Um, I have not been sick once since I've had it because I feel balanced and I feel like I can go through life like that. And so that's, yeah, so I'm, I mainly get clients through word of mouth. Um, once they've had a session, they're like, wow. So this is something that's building, yeah. Because if they knew about this, oh my goodness, how free would they feel? And you know, the number one thing that I believe that has truly changed is your relationships with children. Because you can connect with them. Because if you don't have that childhood trauma, that the needs that you missed out on as a child, you're not constantly fighting, saying, I need to get this as an adult. And that's why we try and force, um, you know, self-development, achieving, that is all stuff to make us, the outside stuff to make us feel better because we didn't feel good as a child because we had no control over what was happening. I understand. Yeah. So you keep circling around uh, this new uh, term, creatives. Can you just, uh, yes. yes, can you just um, elaborate on what it is and yes, how, how it actually works for people? Okay, so they go through a process. 
So there are three steps to the process. So they work with me one-on-one. -on -one, and first of all, they have to be ready to let go of their stuff, number one. So they, they do a pre-assessment of all the things that are happening in their lives. They write a lots of things. And then from that, I can talk to them and I can work out what the things are that they need, the blocks. And it is surprising. Like, they're not all negative, some of the blocks. They're things that you might think that are everyday things, but they're just beliefs that are holding them back. So, and then the next step, so the first step is that pre-assessment and the readiness to surrender and to let go of the issues. Then after that, I take them through a process. Now, it depends if they are personalised to each person. So depending on what they need. So usually three sessions I have with them um, online, which is amazing that I can work globally. So I have clients in Singapore, in um, New Zealand, all over the world. And then the final step is I take them through because... Originally, I got into this because I was an amazing manifester and I was sending my journey of manifesting. Um, and so I help them to be able to manifest and create the life that they want. It also stops them from, so for example, um, I'll just give you an example of one thing that's really worked for some of my clients. Now, they used to um, be triggered by their child <laughs> and they would answer back in retaliation. They would react in anger. So I can get rid of the anger. The, it's the emotional charge to the anger because that was, a, that was something that happened, was triggered years ago. And so that person, you know, what, whoever triggers them brings that feeling back on. So if you don't have that feeling anymore, you're, you're not going to respond in the same way. So she, her whole relationship changed. And you're actually listening a lot more to people. And, you know, when I sit next to someone... I can feel their energy and I can feel what they need. You know, even in their language, it's very easy for me to be able to see. And one thing I've learned is you cannot analyse yourself at all. Someone will say, oh, I feel this, I feel this. And often it's not the case. It's not, that's not the thing that's holding them back. It's something that is so deep. And the two most suppressed emotions for women are hurt and hate because we suppress them because they're not allowed to be seen. Fear is, you know, everyone says fear. There's fear and love. I know you spoke about it the other day and I was totally in agreement with that. Um, however, with women, they, we're so emotional. My goodness. We have, you know, that time of the month, our hormones are racing. So I also teach them about hormones as well because that does, um, it, it changes the way we're going to think at that certain time of the month as well. Yeah, so they all everything is holistic. It's a new way of looking at things and without medication. Imagine that, a thing that really works without having to pop a pill or drink something or anything. You just feel fulfilled right, you know, as soon as the session's finished, you feel a release, yeah, and a relief. Absolutely. I bet there's a lot of people that would be wanting, um, you know, to, to feel that because a lot of people are going through a lot of pain mm. uh, you know, throughout their daily lives and they're not quite sure what it is that's actually happening. And now that you've mentioned that if their past has not been the best, mm -hmm. then the kids might actually be triggering that. So Absolutely. So in your experience and, you know, having transformed either yourself or your clients, what sort of, um, you know, you did mention a release. What are people actually missing out on if they don't go through, um, you know, this, this process, um, you know, in their lives? Uh, living a full life and, and taking chances and opportunities they wouldn't usually do. Saying things they wouldn't usually do. Since I've, my life has changed so dramatically, but that my clients, oh my goodness, I have an amazing client. She's Oh, and I'm so grateful because it's mutual. I work with people, you know, not for them because the process actually gets their learnings. They're, I'm facilitating the process, but they are saying all of their soul's learnings. So it's not, I'm not pushing anything on them. My beliefs are beside the point. So with this one client, she was very sick. And I said, you know what? this is going to change your life because it raises your energy and your vibration because that's, you know, that's what it's all about. And now she's embarked on a new business and she is flourishing and she said she's never felt better. And I just watch, you know, I watch the Facebook feeds and I'm like, man, 
you are just like on fire. It just ignites this creativity inside of you and it actually makes you honestly believe from the heart because I believe this is all from the heart. It's, you know, you're unlocking something within and it's saying, you know what, go out there and do the best you can and, and because you help others. When I help my clients, they go on and help others. So this is, we're setting women free. And so we say setting 10 million women free because um, Maz Shermer, who created Creatrix, um, she uh, was at the Stevie's, you know, the Stevie Awards? Yes. The in, Stevie in, Awards. Yes. So she, um, she came back with a silver and, bro and two bronze. And because this is, in a, you know, we have um, Innovatrix for men. And it's called Transformatrix. It's like a global thing and it's starting to grow. Um, yeah, I think there's about 150 Creatrix um, transformologists in Australia and, oh, and the rest of the world as well. So that's how many, but they keep growing all the time. Yeah. Absolutely. So obviously we might have somebody who's been watching this um, there, Catherine, and yes. they I've been really inspired and now they really want to release those blockages uh, off of them. How can, how best can they get a hold of you? Um, they can have a look on my site and Catherine Mary uh, McLeod transformations and they can message me from there. Um, I'm creating a website because I'm getting more and more clients because it started with, you know, I wanted to change and I wanted to put it out there and now more people are, are like, I'm getting amazing results and it's just snowballing. So, you know, I'm wanting to share my message and help others because it's all about service. You know, when you help others, God, that feels amazing. It's Absolutely. just gorgeous. And, be and because I work with children too, and I see traumatized children in my daily life and I'm able to help them, but I feel like they can help their parents in that respect. So that's why I work with children and they can help because I believe in conscious parenting, which is children are there, there to teach us. We're not there to teach them. Their, their little behaviours help us to grow because if we're patient and we look at them, because your children's behaviour, if you react in a way, if you respond in a way that's get, meeting their needs, they're not going to act crazy and do all that stuff, are they? You know, if, you're, if they're feeling great in themselves, why would they need to go crazy? You know, and I've worked with special needs children too for the last um, two years. And now I work with, you know, um, in intervention with children, mainstream children. And I've worked with asylum seekers. So I've worked with children, you know, when you've got love and someone that really cares genuinely, I don't have any problems, you know, because they trust me. Trust is a huge thing too. But if you're parents, if you're on the phone and disengaged, that's when you see the behaviour. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this has been a pleasure, um, you know, hearing about your methods and also hearing about your, your story, your journey and how you are out there helping other people. Is there anything else that you can leave with us so that we can maybe if we're not ready to jump onto your program, maybe there's some things we can start doing at home that maybe would bring us closer to um, you know, having a life that is fulfilling, like you say. Absolutely. So I've been meditating for years. And so meditating definitely because you need to get silent because it's so busy. And so being silent and having a journal is really important because then you can write down, if you know what these feelings are, you can do something about them because you've got awareness. And then you get clarity and think, hey, I've got that. And then more aware you are, the less likely you are to react and act crazy and blow it out because momentum starts when you're acting, you know, when you're like, oh, my goodness, and then you're in panic mode. You know, you're not going to make the best decisions. And, yeah, so I think that that's, those are the things that I would say, the key things. However, this, you know, I, after doing all the millions of things, this is the only thing that really worked for me. So this, I believe this is the only thing people need. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely that and water okay oh yeah of course and, you know <laughs> healthy food sometimes <laughs> well Catherine, i can't thank you enough for your time and your level of expertise that you just dropped on this show today and if you're watching this episode you know you would know by now you need 
to subscribe to this channel because that's when you get experts like Catherine coming in, dropping in their value for free. Otherwise, you would be paying for you to go through her sessions like that. Thank you so much once again there, Catherine. Thank you so much. Pleasure.